guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this is a bit of a weird one so i've just filmed a youtube haul for quiz clothing so you may recognize this dress from my haul on sunday but i'm also filming a vlog the same day i filmed a haul which is why you probably see my makeup looking a little bit similar i'm running a little bit late i'm meeting my friend savannah who also does instagram we're gonna go to Sanford and we're gonna take some pictures and have a coffee with my other friend becca it's a mutual friend of ours and i can't bloody wait for some girly time and then later this evening I'm actually staying at a friend's house, one of my best friends, Shell, which I'm sure she won't mind me mentioning her name on here because, I mean, she's not on social media, but hopefully you're watching this show. And so I've got like a full girly day planned and I thought, why not vlog it? Why not bring you guys with me? You're also going to see a little insight of the outfits that I'm probably going to be posting next week. But yeah, I really need to pack, so I need to get a wiggle on. <laughs> bags with me oh my god look at the size of that and then i've got my overnight bag as well which i need to take let me grab that i need to grab my phone as well oh my god sorry if that isn't in focus i mean look at me can we just for a second just appreciate bag lady right now so it's going to take about an hour to get to stumford so the time now is 12 51 so I'm about half an hour behind schedule well, 25 minutes if you want to be exact. So I need to get a wiggle on. I feel proper scatty not having someone with me to vlog. Like I feel like when I had my sister here when I was vlogging, I had like a structure to it. So do you know what? This is only vlog two, so give me a break, but I hope you enjoy the vlog. So windy. Right, just arrived. I've driven past Sav's car like three times, thinking, oh, that's not her car, that's not her. Here she is. Yeah. Hello! I've not this got is, mine on yet. That's all right. This is Savannah. She <laughs> she does YouTube as well. We actually went like to the opposite schools, didn't we? Yes. You were at the high school other. when I was at the Glee Girls in Spalding. I used to watch Harry play hockey over oh, the, through the that's gate. So cute. And the Astro Turf. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we used to have to go through there, didn't we? And then yeah. all the girls would be and we were allowed and to like, like I can't I can't look at the high school girls much better than I am. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was quite Such nice. Bullshit, but yeah, honestly. so obviously we grew up knowing of each other. But we kind of spoke like once or twice, and now she's like my BFF. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Oh. I, lo I love your new hair. Thanks. It's amazing. How amazing is Sav's hair? Like, I'm so jealous. Oh. Like the wind's not going to affect it whatsoever today. Whereas me, it's just going to make it bigger. I'm going to be so straight. So, <laughs> all right. Anyway, we need to crack on. But yeah, looking forward to We're filming have little such snippets. A good day. I so nice, we had a little Prosecco each, didn't we? Yeah, recommend going. Uh, yeah, definitely. So we've Stop just taken a couple of pics. We're all a little bit chilly today. It's, it's actually so really, cold. really cold. But we're just in Stamford and it's just so stunning. Like, if you don't live here and you've never been here, you definitely need to have a little visit. We're gonna go back to the car, get changed. Becca's now going. Bye. Bye, Beck. And yeah, we'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Bye. It's now Monday. I've just had a eight and a half, nine hour day at work. So before I have dinner, before I relax for the evening, I am gonna go for a run for a couple of runs last week. And the second run I did, I felt really, really good whilst I was running. And then I got home and then like an hour later, I started to get cramp in my calf, like really bad. So we're gonna do some light stretching. <laughs> I got back from a run I did like nearly two miles which doesn't seem very far but um did the trick 
I'm just applying my Illuminaire Retinol Resurfacing um, Serum. You only meant to use this like twice a week, which I am at the moment, and it's meant to be really good for your skin and getting rid of any blemishes and dry skin and just replenish you. Now I'm really red. And then I'm just going to go in with my Hydra Essential Moisturiser, which I've nearly run out of. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. I get really, really dry skin, especially when the temperature changes and just all of a sudden drops. I get dry skin around my nose and my jawline and stuff. So I like to keep myself hydrated. All right, I think I'm going to finish Monday here. I'm going to go dry my hair make dinner for me and my housemate good morning hagrid has joined us this morning tuesday yeah tuesday the time is it was 22 minutes past six i'm gonna get ready make a coffee quickly and then i'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna film a youtube video i don't know i'm whispering i think it's because i don't need to sleep so <laughs> Friday gang, how is everyone doing? Let's turn that light if it's a bit too much, isn't it? God, now I look weird. I am really excited because this morning, and you guys are gonna come with me, of course. Um, I'm going back to Springfields today. Sorry for making you feel a bit sick. I'm trying to put my dressing gown back on its hook. I'm not just gonna wear this. This is my little slip dress I'm wearing underneath the dress that I'm about to put on, which of course I'm going to show you. But anyway, <laughs> let me get to my point. So, today is a really exciting day for me. So, it's work and it's so amazing that I get to call this work. So, I'm actually, I've actually been invited to the opening of the store Dune London. They are having a little outlet store in Spalding in Springfield. And I'm going along and I'm kindly being gifted a couple of items. Which, of course, I'm going to be able to show you once I get back home. So, yeah, I'm doing that today. And you guys are going to be coming with me. And then Savannah and I... Savannah's actually come with me. He you would have met earlier on in the vlog. So, this is like a week later. So, this is the last day of me vlogging. And then this will be uploaded Sunday. So, yeah, lots of exciting things happening today. And I want to bring you guys with me. The vlog this week has been a little bit all over the place. Um, I don't vlog on days where I shouldn't be so this may just be little snippets of days where I haven't done a lot but I promise you that the vlogs that I hope to hope to create will have lots of exciting things in them just wondering if you wanted me to do um, a separate video of transitioning my wardrobe it's a little bit frustrating for me because I don't actually have a wardrobe I have like a little cupboard because I live in a cottage so 
I don't have like a huge wardrobe space so I tend to use my rail and there and then my housemate kindly allows me to use her spare wardrobe just to stuff all like chunky things in that are going to take up a lot of room so I was wondering if you want me to do that part of a vlog or if you'd like me to do a completely separate video dedicated to transitioning your wardrobe from end of summer to beginning of autumn and right through to winter okay so i'm ready i'll quickly just show you what i'm wearing i'm wearing a little cream dress from h&m that i picked up in july time i've got my blazer on from new look which is about two years old and then i've got my gorgeous necklaces on from lily rose london teamed with my boots from quiz clothing my little bag from 365 so that is the finished look that's what the vibe that we're going for today i I'm feeling so autumnal, I absolutely love it. Just now we're going to go inside, we've got our masks on, we're doing it all very safe, very social distance. Apart from us, because we're in a bubble. Well, of course, yeah, <laughs> but um, the store kind of got all of the COVID restrictions in place, very carefully, very, very, very well thought out, hasn't it been? So, yeah, lovely. We're now just waiting to go in, but yeah, we're excited. with these they look like they look like a version of the Givenchy boots that I desperately desperately want I am so looking for some like buckled boots and I think I have found the one I'm sorry to live in muffled I have got a mask on but they've also got some really nice winter boots like so if you think of going for any like winter walks this is the place to come talk about kind of like how much a discount you're gonna get the original price of these is £150 and you can pick them up for £99. That is such an incredible price. They also have some really, really beautiful bags that match the boots. I love that you can come here and get a boot and a bag that just match, which I think is such a unique shopping experience. I just absolutely love the store layout as well. It's so, so nice. get loads of wear out of them I like that they're a bit something a bit more edgy than your usual style as well which I really love Pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, both vegan, please. That's probably really not a nice angle. <laughs> We've got our pumpkin spice lattes. Mm. Cheers. Oh my god, it just got everywhere. <laughs> that is so mean. We just want to say thank you, Starbucks in Spalding, for kindly gifting us these drinks. We are, I mean, these are just so nice. I love them. Me too. So I look about 80 years old, okay? <laughs> just got back to the size of Primark. I have. I need to sleep more. I definitely do. Anyway, we're enjoying our vegan lattes. Um, 
we're gonna have this coffee and then we're gonna get changed and shoot some content. It's really windy today. So I don't know what your thoughts are, but I'm just somewhere that's a bit more surrounded by trees or something so that we're not as winded out because my eyelashes are gonna fall off. Yeah, that's and not a, that's not a streaming. Yeah, I don't want mine to do that. So Liv has already had this before, but what's that? This is your new cookie. Your pumpkin spice cookie. Oh my god, what a treat. Apparently this got released today. Released. It's vegan. Yeah. This one's vegan too. Raspberry loaf and the pumpkin spice cookie. Yum, yum, yum. And relax. So I'm now back from Springfield's from the opening of Dune London store. Anna and I, you know, went for a coffee, we got some content. It started to rain and we kind of waited until the rain stopped and then it continued raining. So we did try to get a little bit of content, uh, which you would have seen by now. Um, but I just thought I would come home and sit down and just run you through some of the things that I was kind of gifted and some of the things that I purchased from Mark and Spencer's because I just couldn't resist. I went in and I saw, well, you'll see in a second. Yeah. Let me show you what June London kind of gifted to me. Absolutely, I'm in love. I had a little look around and there were loads to choose from. I was really pleasantly surprised for an outlet store how much of the stock they actually had in there. And I don't know if you know this, but I mean, some of my friends will know that I contemplated saving up and getting the Givenchy, the iconic studded boots. They're like nearly a grand um, and it's just not gonna happen. So when I saw these babies, I absolutely lost it. Like I was like, mm hmm I need these in my life. So I was able to pick a pair of boots and a bag to be gifted to me for me to then post in on my Instagram. So please expect to see these over on my Instagram. They are so, so stunning. I got them in a size six. Let's just do a comparison. So the original price of these was 150 pounds and in the outlet you can get them for 105 which is such a bargain. And definitely worth every penny. They are so comfortable. I tried them on in store and they fit quite snug, but not uncomfortable. So they're bearing in mind I had to like thick socks on when I tried them. Yeah, these are the boots that I was kindly gifted. And as I mentioned, I was able to pick a bag. So I wanted to pick a bag that I knew was gonna go with the shoes because I plan on wearing them quite a lot. It's highly gifted this incredible bag um it's got this really nice faux fur strap that is detachable it is literally just a, like a little locket at the front which you undo like so and then inside you've got another strap so just a plain black strap that you can attach and then it's literally i mean you're not gonna see it's not got any zips or anything inside um it's just got big old space for all your nice bits so i'm gonna be looking forward to styling this up with a lot of the outfits that i'm planning on showing you in the coming weeks you just want to obviously make sure that you know that these items were kindly gifted to me and i selected them myself they are things that i love and that i will wear and wear and wear you know me you know how much i re-wear stuff and real style it different ways and stuff so definitely expect to see these two beauties over on my instagram really really soon so i also nipped back into marks and spencers I may have bought something. Um, I don't know if this is gonna even, I don't even know the point of me even doing this because it's that big, it's not gonna fit on the screen. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I've got this coat. Gorgeous maxi length dog tooth, is it? Oh, hello. Dog tooth pattern. I'm gonna have to get up and show you, aren't I? Ignore the fact that it's the worst lighting in the world, but this is my new coat and I absolutely love it. It was meant to be 90 pounds and it was reduced to 40 pounds. And I thought, how nice would this look with, well, everything that I own. Um, but what I was actually thinking is that I could tie it up. She let's button up. Potentially wear a statement belt over the top if I wanted to do it up like so. But I actually think this is warm enough to leave it open with like a big chunky scarf. I'm gonna have to get a scarf to match this now, but yeah, I just absolutely love it. I got something else from Marks and Spencers. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna love this or hate this. You know the trend that's going around at the moment and it is definitely just a trend. I'm not sure if they're gonna be in next year so I don't wanna spend a lot of money. Um, I picked up a black knitted pullover vest. Now my only concern is that this isn't V-neck whereas the other ones that I've seen 
um, bopping around are v-neck this is not v-neck but I did get it in a size 18 because they came up really small I thought there's no way that's going to look how I want it to look my plan is to work with a really nice oversized shirt underneath um, and then maybe like some leather leggings or black jeans or black coated jeans um, but yeah I'll pop it on now but what I'm about to work with this dress is not how I envision wearing it like how I envision styling it so if I look a bit crazy don't judge <laughs> don't judge <laughs> it looks a bit weird basically can you understand like because of the oh, let me get down like because of the neck we need a collar poking out this doesn't really have a collar as such because it's a dress so you imagine like a little collar sticking out that would look really cute I mean, it looks kind of cute with the skirt, but I don't think I'm giving it its full... I've probably made this look really, really rubbish, but it was only... So it was only £8.50, so I don't want to invest, like, loads and loads and loads. But I also thought, as well, not only, like, having a collar, but having, like, a few necklaces on, that would look really cute. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. So just imagine black leather leggings, some boots like the ones I just bought, nice big sleeves, big collar. I think it's quite a nice little layering piece. And especially for only £8.50, like you can't really go wrong. So guys, that is everything that I've been up to this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I really do hope I'm going to be able to do these at least once a week now. But I'm not going to make any promises just in case. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.